Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am joined again by my wife, Brenna. This is the third installment of the Stitch Fix series that we got going to see how Stitch Fix works with cowboy boots. And I've invited my wife, Brenna, to join me on every one of these to help me with the fashion part of it. Isn't that right? Yeah, he needs help. <laughs> I really do. And Stitch Fix has been a great help. If you haven't seen the other two videos, definitely go check those out before this one. And for those of you who have, let's get into it. All right, Brenna, so how do you feel Stitch Fix has done so far on the previous two boxes? Um, we talked about it a little bit in your last video, but I would say that they are doing really well. They're sending you things that you actually already have a version of. That's so true. they're nailing it more than they probably think they are. I yeah. don't know if you're providing feedback of like, hey, I actually already have this. Yeah, I have provided feedback on each one of the boxes about this is similar to something I already have. Good guess though. Like, um, I've been trying to keep their spirits up because on each one of these boxes, I've only purchased one thing. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes on this one. They made they made a huge improvement from the first one to the second one. So mm -hmm. let's see what we got here mm -hmm. today. Right. And I believe the yeah, the sheet is in there. We'll need that. Always need the sheet. Whew. Okay, wow. Ooh. Oh, what do we have here? So let's go. So this is another artifact shirt. Whoa. I kind of like this color. That's I don't have cool. anything this color. I like that. It's got like, it's white, but it has a bunch of red lines on it, which gives it a pink kind of tone from far away. I don't know what it looks like on the screen, but it's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to trying this one. What is this called? That is the Artifact Carter Printed Stretch Shirt in Coral. Coral Stretch Shirt. It does stretch a little bit, but not too much. I mean, what do you think about that stretch? I think it's pretty classic. Pretty classic. Nothing crazy. And here we have a Stretch Hawker Rye Whoa. short sleeve shirt. And they're actually, oh, this one's so much more stretchy than the other. This is, what color would you call that? Teal with a bunch of flowers on it? Yeah. Small a flowers. Teal, a minty. A mint color? Yeah. I like this shirt too. Don't have anything like this. That is the Hawker Rye short sleeve color mint. Oh, wow. You got it dead on. Whew. Another sort of performance tee here from Ooh. Hawker Rye. I, I took one of the performance tees last time. This is a nice color, nice deep blue color, but I doubt I will come away with another t-shirt this time. Um, yeah. Just because I did that last time and uh, I probably don't need another one like this. And that is the Randy performance jersey in Indigo. <laughs> So it looks like it looks two like pairs. they sent two pairs of jeans because I didn't pick out any jeans from either one of the boxes. Um, oh wait, no, these are shorts. Oh. Oh, don't tell me. I'm gonna have to try on shorts for this video. <laughs> you actually uh, have a, a gray pair of shorts already. I do have a pair of gray shorts, and I'm not usually a shorts kind of person. Um, he I'll is in the it. summertime. Don't let him do, lie to you. During the summertime, I do I do like to wear cargo shorts now and then, but it's not like I'll wear them to functions or anything. I usually wear jeans and stuff. I'll try them on for the channel. <laughs> Those are the Hawker <laughs> Rye Nine Inch Essential Wash Chino Short in Gray. I'll try them on for the channel, but you better like this video when I do. <laughs> if you want to see his legs, like <laughs> this video. <laughs> it's gonna be blinding. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> no, you've been tanning. You'll be just fine. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice feeling jean. It is Ooh. Avery Modern Straight, and it is another 32, 36. Ooh. This is a nice color, and it feels great. Jeez. I'm gonna look forward to trying this one. Oh, I bet you it's gonna be great with boots. Shall we try some of this stuff on and see what we think? Get it on your body. Let's do it. Okay, so we're starting out with the, what is this jean again? That is the Avery Modern Straight Fit Jean. The Avery Modern Straight Fit Jean. I like this jean. It's got a nice stretch to it, um, a little bit loose. 
in the thighs, but that's pretty normal for me because I am such a skinny legged dude. Um, I like the look of it. Not as loose in the thighs as the flag and anthem jeans were last time. It is 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So that spandex is like really noticeable even though it's only 2%. It's, it feels great. I think I might actually end up with these. And this shirt, I know I said that I wasn't <laughs> going to get it, but I put it on, I was like, wow. It's just, it feels thin and light and cool. Um, it's a really nice cut too. Uh, I don't know. I might actually end up with most of this box rather than just the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see what the actual whole box is. Um, but yeah, right off the bat, I'm really liking these jeans and this shirt. Um, it feels pretty okay in the back too. It's said that the jeans are made from uh, sustainably sourced cotton as well and that they should be, because of the way that they process the cotton, they should be antimicrobial and easy to wash and that they wouldn't stretch out over time. Ooh, so that's good to know. That sounds like a good selling point. <laughs> yeah, not, not shrinking either. Yeah. Awesome. That is a huge, huge positive in my book because all my jeans end up shrinking eventually. Yeah. Um, for those of you wondering, I'm wearing the JW Boot Company Ostrich Leg Brush Popper right now with these jeans and it looks great. I'm loving this look. Amazing. Yeah. I'll take you out like this. Woo, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let me try on one of these other shirts because you might want to take me out on one of those. So this is the mint color Hawker Rye stretch shirt. It definitely stretches. Like, I can just feel the stretch when I um, bend my arms like this, when I do the welcome to the gun show look. Can definitely feel the stretch. It feels great, wow. And I love the look of it too. Whew. Man, I'm digging this look. How does it fit across? Is it too wide across? I don't the... think so. I think it's cut really well for my slim body. Man, they are just hitting everything this box. It's like yeah. third times its charm. If you're thinking about going with Stitch Fix, definitely stay with them for at least three boxes because it seems like they're nailing it in this box right here. Will you tuck it in? How's it look tucked in? Yeah. Ready? Bing! Yes? Good? Yeah, oh, you look good. That's no belt right now, but... Good outfit, baby. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Ready to go out? Yeah, as soon as the stick opens up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me try this other one. This is the Artifact Printed Stretch Shirt in the coral color. Definitely not as stretchy as that Hawker Rye was, but man, does it look good. I like the look of this. It feels great too. It has a great weight to it. It's like they're nailing things right on the head in this box with it being summertime. They got shorts here. They got some really light, cool clothing that just looks really good. I'm digging this look right now. I think that shirt looks really good on you. I think I liked the color of the mint one a little bit better, but I think this one is a little bit more versatile. You could wear this not just for shows, but for, I don't know, weddings or Yeah, you could wear this anywhere. Anywhere. Let's see what it looks like tucked in. You gonna do your bing? Oh yeah, that's right. Tucking it in. Bing! I like this look too. Ooh. Doesn't tuck in quite as well as the other one. I feel like it has a little bit of, um, Mushroom in the back? No? no? Not really. Oh, no. okay. Maybe just a little bit extra fabric on the sides then. Yeah, a little bit on the sides. But still feels great. Looks great. <sighs> I'm digging this shirt. They are spot on with my style and I guess personality in this one, I think. Yeah. I think I'm going to end up with these jeans for sure. The longer <laughs> I stand in them, the more comfortable and um, just great feeling they are. Like they're stretchy, they're light. It feels like these breathe more than other jeans, if that makes sense. It's just, it's just a cooler jean than what I usually wear. Yeah, maybe that has to do with how thin the thread was when they were weaving it or something. I have no idea. I'm not a jeans great. expert, but they do look great. Yeah. All right, now it's time to try on the shorts. Shorts! <laughs> Gotta do it for the views. <laughs> Are you going to wear your cowboy boots with the shorts? Yes, of course. All right. These shorts are definitely not my style. These are like 
short shorts for me. I kind of feel like it's the 70s and I'm almost like Tom Selleck in, what is that show? Uh, the one where they're on Hawaii, in Hawaii? Whoa. No. Anyways, these are short, short, like Tom Selleck shorts. Um, and you can see where I usually wear my shorts <laughs> because there's tan below that line. So they definitely ride up much higher than what I'm used to. They kind of feel like boxer shorts. Yeah, but they look good on you. They what? Really... No way. Yeah, they show off your legs. All the shorts that you have are like so big and boxy around your legs, and then it makes your legs actually look so much smaller when it's, you know, a little leg coming out of a huge hole. It just looks like kind of silly. These actually fit around your leg, you know? So even if they're a little bit longer, they actually fit around your leg, which looks good on you. Ah. It makes your legs look like more manly and less chicken -y. Yeah, I guess, but still, they're not comfortable. I mean, it feels like I'm in boxer shorts right now, and it's not like I want to go to the post office or a cookout or anything in boxer shorts. It's, these are not my style at all. Not at all. Um, I'm going to change out of these, like, right now, because I don't like them, but we're going to be looking out at the prices in one second to decide what I'm going to keep. All right, so now that I've tried on the sh shirts and the jeans. I really like these jeans. I'm definitely gonna get these jeans. Um, Are you sure? You don't know how much they cost. Okay, let's go through the prices of everything. <laughs> All right, so you are wearing the Avery Modern Straight Fit Jean, size 32. Those cost $125. Oh, damn, no wonder they're so nice. The last jean that I tried that was $125 was the Tacovas, and this is so much better than the Tacovas jean. I gotta be honest, this is so much better. You're not really an expensive jean kind of person, so it really surprises me. Although, actually, you did have a pair of Seven for All Mankinds that you really like. Yeah, but Seven for All Mankind shrinks. Yeah. So they they are also expensive jeans, but I've found that a lot of times the expensive jeans have just the same amount of disadvantages as regular price jeans say like 50 to 70 dollars so yeah. usually it's better off just saving that amount of money and just buying the 50 More to 70 the 50s. yeah yeah so i mean but these are so nice i don't i don't have jeans like this this is such a nice jean and you can't just wear those out to do gardening work you know you gotta make those stay nice <laughs> yeah i guess so <laughs> <laughs> all right so hmm. but you also got to remember that there is a styling fee with each one of these boxes so it costs twenty dollars for somebody to put together this box for me and if I buy something then that twenty dollars is automatically taken off that purchase if I don't buy anything and I just send it all back then I've paid them twenty dollars and gotten nothing out of it so right off the bat there that means that I have twenty dollars that I've already spent that can go towards something in this box. Yeah, that would make those jeans $105. Yeah, pretty much. But they're so nice. <laughs> they are nice. And then if you buy everything together, you get a discount on everything. A 25% discount. 25% discount. So what's the shirt cost? Uh, the Artifact Carter Printed Stretch Shirt is $58. This is $58. So these are expensive items, um, but they're nice and but they're they well-fitting. Nice. So, I mean, I guess that comes down to the same thing in the cowboy boot world. If you want something that fits well and feels nice, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. This is quality stuff here that we're talking about, not just some random pay less shoe, which is the world where I'm coming from in terms of clothing is like I go to Target or Sears or, you know, Walmart for the most part to get my clothes and they or last, thrift stores and they last two seasons if that and, and then they, they shrink, shrink yeah. and then we have to get rid of them so if yeah. these are actually gonna last it seems like worth the investment because I don't know if anyone out there knows this or if they have a husband or boyfriend or whatever like this but Jeremiah doesn't buy clothes for himself really that often so when he throws stuff out it's like okay you have one shirt to wear now yeah well, are you gonna buy another one? Oh no it's fine I actually have this problem right now in my t-shirt drawer because I got, a ri got rid of a bunch of stuff and now I'm like, oh, I don't know what t-shirt to wear today. Because there's three. <laughs> and if he doesn't do laundry, he doesn't have any t-shirts. And today's laundry day, so. <laughs> button-ups it is. So, button-up. 
This is 58. Is this in a similar price range? This that one, one? Um, the essential wash short sleeve in mint is 54. Okay, so similar prices here. And what about the t-shirt? The Randy Performance jersey is 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Yeah. And the shorts? The shorts are 49. $49. So I think if I wanted to take anything away from this, it would be these jeans and the two dress shirts. And it's sounding like that's going to equal pretty much $200 anyways. And with everything added up, minus the 25% discount. You're like that, right on that $200 line. Yeah, that makes everything here worth $217. And only the stuff that you wanted. No. Everything I mean, is 237 Oh, everything is 237 so that means like it would be an extra twenty dollars or something if i sent back it would be an extra twenty dollars for these two extra things that i want to keep um which is a good deal in, as a box purchase and i feel like they are doing a really good job and this is probably my last video so I might as well just get everything just because I really like both of these shirts and these pants. What are do you, you think? Are you ever going to wear the shorts? Probably not, but it, it's <laughs> like if I send those back, then I pay for all the other stuff and it ends up being like more, doesn't it? It would end up being more. Yeah, if we do the math, so the performance shirt and the shorts, so the performance shirt is 30 bucks and the shorts are 50 bucks, so it would be 80 bucks. Um, and the discount for buying everything is about 80 bucks. So. It'd be the same. So I might as well just keep it. Yeah. Well, lucky you, you did like those shorts on me. <laughs> I did like those shorts on you. You just have to feel comfortable enough to wear them, but I think I can convince you. All right, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> so great job by Stitch Fix here. Their third time around, I feel like they delivered a box that was just hitting the nail on the head on every point except for those shorts. I'm just not the kind of person who wears shorts on a regular basis out and about. I'll do it at home, um, but I'm not really comfortable wearing shorts outside the house because I can't wear boots with them. And I love wearing my boots. If I'm going to go someplace, I'm going to want to wear boots. And I don't wear shorts with boots. So... Uh, it's probably gonna be mainly an at-home sort of thing, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna get everything in this uh, Stitch Fix wow. box, and then I'm gonna cancel my order because I just don't need the temptation to buy more. <laughs> um, they did a great job, and if anybody is interested in trying Stitch Fix, I do have a link down in the description, and if you guys are interested in me trying out different clothes boxes like special designers where they deliver the clothes to you and then you can choose and send back let me know because there's tons of them i think stitch fix is probably the most popular yeah um but there's a lot so if you guys have seen any and you want me to do a review on them definitely let me know down in the comments what did you think about this series did you like it did you think it was stupid let me know about that down in the comments as well huge thanks to my wife brenna for being my conscience and my fashion consultant during these videos as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Third time's a charm for the Stitch Fix box subscription. There's only one thing they're missing. I'm not the shorts guy that they're thinking. But what's the harm? I'll keep them around anyways. <laughs> Huge thanks to Stitch Fix for all their great work during this series. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a great day.